Tonight, we're honoring the life of a man who made a huge impact in the Florida State University community and Tallahassee as a whole. Former University President Sandy D'Alembert died last month, leaving a hole that will be hard to fill. Valerie Mills is live at the FSU campus where a memorial service was held today. And Valerie, how are people remembering him? Ava, it was an emotional day, but there was also a lot of laughs in today's ceremony as those closest to D'Alembert shared stories about their time with him. One story that sums up how beloved he was, a student here at FSU told me that when you would walk around campus with him, it was the longest walk ever for one simple reason. Everyone wanted to stop and talk to him, and D'Alembert knew each one of them and genuinely cared to hear about their life. That's why dozens of people I spoke to told me he truly was an inspiration. His energy was contagious, and he never stopped wanting to do more and help more people. Dallenbert had a profound impact on FSU, serving as a mentor to students, staff, and anyone he met. People tell me he left a footprint wherever he walked, and he made many friends along the way. I'd like my life to emulate his in terms of his commitment to uh, to, to what he believed in politically, professionally, his commitment to his family. He was a caring person who put the other person first all the time. He was a wonderful man who achieved many, many things in his career. From the stories told today, he lived a strong, happy, and meaningful life. His accomplishments are proof of that. He wasn't just president of FSU, he served as dean of the College of Law, he was president of the American Bar Association and an international champion of human rights. And remembrances and stories poured in at today's ceremony. Each person had a different relationship with Dallenberg, but all described him the same way, saying he lived an extraordinary life and he did what he loved up until his last day, working as a lawyer and helping others. I'll have more on this ceremony tonight in your news at 11. Live from FSU, Valerie Mills, WTXL, ABC 27.